Namibia's Irongo region, along the pristine Atlantic coastline, is home to more than 107,000 residents, mostly employed in the fishing, tourism and mining sectors in Swakopmund and Wolfus Bay. Despite the two towns being the hub of economic activities in three of Namibia's top gross domestic product contributors, the region has been identified as one of the two most poverty-stricken regions, battling with alcohol and drug abuse, particularly among the youth that constitute about 67% of the population. In 2016, the Konrad Adenauer Foundation, in collaboration with the European Union, launched a project aimed at the transfer of skills among civil society organizations, for them to become efficient and transparent in their role of a key contributor to the country's socio-economic development and democratic process. One of the CSOs was the Uhili Necessity Wellness Trust, that rehabilitates juvenile offenders in the region's correctional facilities. Uh, the value that we got is to believe in ourselves as a CSO and not to be afraid of making mistakes. And I can say accountability, governance and transparency. Those are the major values that I can get and apply to my CSO in everyday's life. Heimbody shared some of her success stories and how her organization facilitated the high school graduation of many juvenile offenders. I can say in writing, how to write proposals and uh, how to approach the outside stakeholders and to build relationship and it comes successfully when I wrote the, the proposal to Namport, uh, where we get the assistance of $15,000 that we, we give to COSDEC to train uh, 20 offenders. And it is a project also that can help us to, to work together uh, as a CSO and, and the stakeholders that can be more productive and successful in helping our community. The haven of happiness that is run by Gillian von Lingen also faced many challenges in engaging with the government and other sources of funding to be sustainable in the areas of gender equality and family affairs. But the value is that the domestic workers now are on the way to being noticed and getting help. Because we need to network as well with the other organizations who are also starting this, and we need to really sort of coordinate things so that we can get some, especially if registered on the NTA, that is, I think is the most important thing that we need to do. The other thing that I found very useful was I've never been trained in conflict management. I've had some disastrous experiences in the past where if I'd known, I could have saved some things from collapsing from my own ignorance in this department. I recommend that these projects, that this training carries on at grassroots so that everybody can, people can be empowered, we can uplift the people working in grassroots and in the small medium enterprises in town so that they can be aware how to well, do what's the basic things when it comes to running the office, but also, the, the, as I mentioned, the conflict management and various other communication skills, presentation skills. Mm -hmm.